Hi there, everybody. We're just going to talk to you um, about a stem and leaf diagram. So, a stem and leaf diagram is a way of just showing um, a set of numbers in, in a nice ordered format, really, rather than writing out every single number um, that you need to. So, let's have a quick look at terms of what, what it looks like. Um, so, first of all, you're going to need a key. All right, so a key is, is quite important, and it tends to be in an exam. I've seen it a few times where they're going to ask you um, the key. Um, but I'll talk about that in a second. But the data is split up into two parts. So it's usually tens and, and units or tens and ones, um, but it looks something like this. All right, so I'll, I'll talk you through what this kind of stands for. So here, that means you've got zero tens and then three ones, and zero and five and zero and nine. So what that represents, that zero three is the number three, the zero five is the number five, and the zero nine is, is, is number nine. The 1, 1 represents 11, and then that 1, 1 represents 11, and that 1, 3 represents 7, and so on, and so on, and so on. So what you've got is 3 slash 5 is 35. All right, so that 3, 5 there is 35. You've got 46 and another 46. All right, so the, what they're doing is not writing the 40 again and again and again. They're just paying this 46 and another 46. All right, here you've got 20, 22, and 27. So 11, 11, 13, 14, 17, and 18. So that's what that sort of stem of, that's how it looks, okay? Um, so there's your tens unit, tens column, all right? They represent tens. And these all represent um, the ones or units, essentially. All right, and that's how it's put together. Uh, nothing more complicated than that. It's just a case of a way of representing data, all right? So that number there, if we ask you what that number represented, it would be 18. Okay, and that number there would be 20, and that number there would be 5. All right, okay, so let's look at in terms of giving data and then trying to represent it. So here we go, we've got a set of data, and of course, if they ask you to put that into a, a stem and leaf diagram, the first thing you need to think about is your tens. So we've got a 20, a 60, um, there's nothing else bigger than that in terms of the tens, isn't it? So I'm going to need 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 down the left hand side. All right, two, three, four, five, six down the left hand side. And then we're going to go through them and just put the units next to each one. So you're going to start with, with this one, all right, because that's 23. So we're going to put a three just, oh no, it's going to go, we're going to go in order. So it's going to go basically 35. So we're going to put the five there. So that's going to be 35. And then we're going to go for 23, hopefully, 23. And then 64. And then 52. And you can see what's happening 44. And then 30, and it's going to go there, and then 57, and then 48, and it's 46, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. Right, see, this is where I have a slight issue um, in terms of doing it this way, is that what you've got is all these are in the wrong order, aren't they? All right, you've got 44, 48, and 46. They're not in any particular order. They need sorting out, all right? So whilst going through this is absolutely fine, I think I would have been tempted to start with the smallest and put it first, and then maybe do the 30s, in order, and then do the forces in order, and so on and so on and so on, because this is going to have to be rewritten now in order. All right, so we'll see that in a second. So here we go. So 23, and then I'm going to write these in order in terms of 0, 5, and 8. 0, 5, and 8. And then the next one, we're going to put those in order as 4, 6, 8. And the next one is going to be 1, 2, 7, 6. 1, 2, 6, 7, even. Um, and of course, 4 and 4 is going to stay the same. All right, so that's what it's going to look like. But don't forget, it, it always, you should have a key. All right, don't forget the key. There we go. So two out of three represents 23. All right. And that is a stem and leaf diagram. Okay. So what was the point? What are you going to use them for? Well, you might be asked um, about averages. And it's likely, likely that you're going to ask probably the median. It might ask you the mode maybe. Don't think they're going to ask you the mean. Um, it's unlikely that one. But certainly the median and the mode they might go for. All right. So median, range and mode. There we go. So that's what we had, or well, that's what we've got now. I think it's still different, isn't it? So let's let's go for um, let's go for the mode. All right, is it going to start with the mode? Yeah, hopefully it will. The mode is the easiest one. So which appears the most times? Well, I'm looking at all this kind of data here, and I see these threes, and so therefore 13 is the one that appears the most time by the looks of it. All right, there you go, 13. The range, well, that's the difference between your smallest and your biggest. So your smallest is three, there. And your biggest is 46. So 46 take away for 3 is going to give you 43. All right, so that's my range. And now my median. Well, this is the one that's in the middle. 
And again, normally when they're in order, um, and if you've looked at my lesson on median, you basically cross them out from either side, from top to bottom, and then you work your way inwards. So this is probably going to be exactly the same thing. We knock them off, so the three and the six go, and then we look at the next ones, and then we look at the next ones, and then the next two, and the next two, and the next two, and the next two, and you're left with the one that's in the middle, which is a seven, but of course it's 17, because that, that's the one that it's, is left. All right, so same process as we would do a normal median, but of course we're doing it with a stem and leaf diagram rather than writing the whole lot in, in, in order. Well, they are in order, but rather than in a big long line is what I meant. Okay, so a median is going to be 17. Was it okay? Oh, so there you go. That is um, stem and leaf diagrams in a nutshell. If you need practice on it, please go to the website, mass-school.co.uk. There's some plenty of questions on there for you to kind of practice on. Um, but of course, you can always revisit this at any point. Thanks for listening.